everyone so I wanted to come in and do a video for you uh, just about my uh, barrier that I use and so how it looks generally I use it for the spinning on the cake turn table or the lazy Susan or now the kids pottery wheel um, so uh, it all started with a packing box a tea chest size and then I'll take you through the steps of how it turned out like this and so here we go all right let's get to it Okay, so the moving carton I picked up at Bunnings, it was, I think it was $4, um, there you go, the tea chest moving carton, um, there's these bottom flaps here, I chopped those off with some scissors about, uh, let's say approximately an inch from the fold, and then continue that on for the other three sections. Once that is done, uh, grab the scissors again and do snips all the way up to the fold at regular intervals to allow um, folding, really. <laughs> so, yeah. And again, continue that for the other three sections. So now that that's all done, you want to work out what kind of size height in height that you want to have your barrier the barrier that I made previously I did it approximately halfway because I had this cake decorating turntable and therefore I needed that bit of extra height uh, then I found the lazy Susan which is very close to the surface of the table so I didn't quite need that height with that one and also now with the kids pottery wheel it's a little bit higher than the lazy Susan but nowhere near as high as the cake uh, making turntable so I don't I'm going to do a barrier from this one that will suit the pottery wheel so I've measured up at approximately a third of the way up the box, drawn the line and then I will chop that across. It gets a little bit awkward but that's okay. Just take your time and yeah so there are other things which we'll get to. Um, oh there we go, um, there it is, chopped off. And as you can see, it's still in the stiff shape of the box though. So I grab this piece of wood and then crease up at regular intervals so that uh, it just gives the, the stiffness of the sides of the box that flexibility to, with the creases. So. I gave up on the stick and went, you know, you can do this with your hands too, so um, I do actually like to use the stick better, but it's just a matter of getting a good rhythm going with it. So. And um, there's a step coming up which I'll explain which would have been a good thing to do prior to now, perhaps. I'll mention that as it gets closer. So stand it up on its end, squish down those little tabs at the bottom, okay. and there you have it, you've pretty much got your barrier all set and done. This is the seam line on the box. 
so just snip up there and that gives you your little access kind of panel so what I do just rolling it up just to help encourage those creases and bends to you know go be a little bit more natural and worn in um, overnight I'm going to set some weights on the, on the top of it so get those uh, bottom little flaps um, used to bending under okay um, I just showed you on that box I could get another one this size out of that and a much smaller one so now I'm not only using this for a barrier for the splatters but a barrier for when I'm drying wet painting so I'll put them in there and then cover it and then I know that there's no dust critters whatever getting in there into my wet painting so because that is just for drying purposes it doesn't need to be so high um, which I'll use the other section of the box for so there we go and there it is so all done completed I just had a weight on it oh I just actually had this section of the carton sitting on top trying to get these bottom flats to um, get used to being sticking out I don't know. not real good with words tonight it seems so yes there we have it um, I found it very useful as I tried to show you ever so quickly not just for a barrier for the spinning but also a safe space to put wet paintings inside and then cover um, yeah I think I pretty much covered everything please let me know if you try this out if it was explained clearly enough um, and yeah <laughs> enjoy so <laughs> all right thanks so much for watching be fabulous all right bye